completed the role reversal. Frankly, the Colts were the tougher team. Only the celebration remained. And as if to reclaim his role. And the Colts have had a hard time all season covering kicks. It's Hester trying to work it back to the middle. Gets past the first wave, and here he goes. It's Hester inside the 30. Hester's going to take it all the way for a touchdown. And no flag, 90. Colts on Thursday. Directional kick outside the numbers. They've got him. But what happens when you're so worried about Devin Hester, you don't attack. In most kickoff teams, they attack. So they're catching, and when you're catching the blocks, all of a sudden, you cannot react. And Devin Hester finally goes, look, there's a big opening. He takes it, and he just outruns everybody. Even watching himself on the Jumbotron as he trots in, he finally found contact from Giordano but not until the big Sandy Texas on the map with his brilliant coaching job in Chicago fourth and nine on the way Jim just talking about the coaches two of them that never raised their voices ever Boseman firing for the first and gets it ball pops out picked up now they call it incomplete whistle dead that's Bethea who picked it up Giordano had just come in as they countered the five receiver formation for Chicago brought in Giordano who'd been special teams all night long well good movement by Rex Grossman Clark stops and goes the other way but we just talked about it when you play a defense where everybody's watching the quarterback you see the football thrown and you can just run to it and Desmond Clark has no idea he's about to be unloaded on by Giordano. So the Colts talking on the move.